New Recruits, Twin Terror 2, and Lucky Gloves, guys. Lucky Gloves not even that bad, but I'm definitely eyeing Twin Terror here. I'm eyeing Twin Terror for sure. Twin Terror is super OP right now. New Recruit. I need to check if someone else takes Twin Terror. Two spots of four players. Three spots of four players. Oh, yeah. Double Twin Terror. What are our items, though? Our items are kind of yucky, right? We're obviously going to play the Twitch comp. We're just re-rolling Twitch this game. Hopefully no one else has Twin Terror. Nice. No one else has Twin Terror. That's good. The thing is, what if someone just takes Twin Terror mid-game? Also, I shouldn't have leveled, man. The enemies have strong teams. The enemies have strong teams. I shouldn't have leveled, right? Uh, I mean, it's okay, it's okay. I get Twitch Headliner. Sentinel Headliner. I mean, this is pretty good. This is very good, actually. That was the best thing I could get. Alright, so we're playing Twin Terror Twitch. Now, let's look at the items. So, we need to save this for Twitch for Infinity Edge. These will go on the girl. On the, on the Vex. That's fine. And then these will be our tank items. Alright, let's see. The only problem with this is, like, obviously Twin Terror is really broken, guys. And Twitch Reroll is the thing you want to play with it, right? And Vex. But the, the only problem I have is I don't have a single Twitch and not a single Vex, but I, I think it's fine, right? Like, you're... you're Like, even 2-star Twitch and 2-star Vex make you so strong, man. The only problem is I have no money. And uh, we are on we are on Prismatic Symphony, guys. So maybe I can get Golden Ticket, Second Augment. Or Prismatic Ticket, excuse me. So we're gonna have full Prismatic Augments this game. The only other problem is, what if someone gets Prismatic Twin Terror? What if someone gets Prismatic Twin Terror here? Then I'm just screwed, right? The chance is kinda high. Oh, this guy's rerolling Seraphine. Nice, we're back. Alright, we're chilling, man. That's not bad. He's rerolling Seraphine, which is really good for me because He's gonna buy a 3-star Seraphine, which thins out the 2-cost pool, which means I can find Twitch and Pantheon easier. The whole other problem I have is I have no Punk stacks, but it's fine. And I need Executioner Twitch. I need the, I need the correct Twitch. Not Punk Twitch, Executioner Twitch. Because you play for Executioner, you need Executioner Twitch. That's what makes this strong. And Prismatic Twin Terror is really strong with this. Like... A, a, a lot of a lot of challengers just take this and instantly just like just what I'm doing here. They just hard force it. That's how broken it is. So this is very good. But in a triple prismatic lobby, it's a little bit risky, right? Be people are gonna be level nine and stuff very quickly, and I'm gonna be freaking twitch rerolling. We'll see if it pans out well. There's a vex and there's a bow. I just have to take that. I hope I can get it though. Nice! He almost got it. Well, I was just a millimeter closer. Let's go. His indecisiveness gives me the reward. Because I need Giant Slayer on Twitch. Giant Slayer, Red Buff, and Infinity Edge is best on Twitch, I think. Those are the best items. So now, I, I could also go Jewel Gauntlet on Vex. It's very good. Okay, I found this guy as well. I just need to make uh, gold here. I just need to make 20. Otherwise, I'm super broke. I need money. I need money. Ah, Jewel Gauntlet is good on Vex. It's just... 
I need the, the Twitch, right? The Twitch is more important because he's gonna be three star first. Like the Vex is the actual carry late game, but you need to have the three star Twitch first, right? Because that's the thing you fight first. If I don't have a three star Twitch, I just die mid game. It depends on the Krog items as well. If I, yeah. And if I find an early Vex, a second Vex, to get Twin Terror Valve. Again, for the people who don't know what this Zogman does, when you play the same unit twice, they gain a bunch of attack speed, crit chance, and bonus health. And when you 3-star something, you get a 2-star of that for free, so you can keep playing the same unit twice. So you just play double Pantheon, double Vex, double Twitch, and then you play the fourth Executioner. Samira or Kartus or Akali. And then you play Amumu as well for Guardian and for Emo. And then eventually you play double um, Pantheon. That's the last thing you play double, right? First double Twitch and double Vex. And then eventually you also can play double Amumu if you 3-star Amumu as well. But that is very rare. You would have to be level 9, right? For that as well. For 4 Executioner. Oh, there's a Twitch. I almost missed it. What the frick am I doing? <laughs> I almost missed it, man. <laughs> I was I was so deep in talking about the things. I almost missed it. Oh my god. I mean, we're back. And now we're completely back. We get punk here as well, so we get the punk value. A bow always goes on Twitch, so I'm gonna put it already. That was so lucky, guys. Let's go, man. Now we don't even have to roll much. Now we're already so strong. We don't even have to roll much on six. And we can save all our money and roll later. We always make 50 gold. GG, these are... Oh, double bow, rep buff instantly, frick it. I'll take it. I will freaking take it. Lovely. Looking good already. Oh my, nah, nah. I think this will kill more units than emo. I don't want to level yet, it's too expensive. There's a pantheon though. Uh. I think this is stronger. This will kill more units. I'm gonna lose this fight anyway. I'm I'm not like I don't have frontline, I have nothing. But this will kill more units. The Vexus will get good terror value and do a lot of damage. Ah, see? Ah, this was way better. I, I, this guy is level 6. Like, I wouldn't have killed that many units otherwise. I, I can't make 40. And remember, you always have to use the free uh, shop refresh, or the one cost shop refresh from Punk. Because it gives you 3% bonus to the um, Punk value instead of 1%. Like a normal shop refresh. So you always have to use that every turn. You ideally want it early game already, to use it early game. This is trash. Binary airdrop isn't even bad. Binary airdrop isn't even bad here. This is not that good, I think. Lucky Gloves is really good on Executioners. I have two Lucky Gloves already. I think Lucky Gloves is too good. I get so many items already. Oh, hologram is so busted. Oh, it's hologram for sure. Because then I can double more units, right? Way earlier. It's basically a tactician's crown. It's basically a tactician's crown, man. It's literally a tactician's crown. I can't be this indecisive with the items, by the way. And it's also gonna give me a 3-star Twitch secondary instead of just a 2-star Twitch as a second unit, right? And yes, this works. Hologram works with Twin Terror, guys. It's a very good combo. It's a really good combo. Yeah. 
Uh, if you play this, it breaks the Twin Terror, guys. 1,176 health. 1,526 health. So you can't do that. So here we just have to play some random... I, I shouldn't have bought the, the Vex yet. I actually go weaker. I, I go weaker, I go weaker, man. Thing is, I need to put items, man. Like, I need Infinity Edge anyway as my next item. That's gonna be the best I can get here. And then Archangel is kinda bad, in my opinion. Like, I don't want Archangel. But I don't want to burn the rods. I don't want Gargoyles either. I hope I can just win this with items on the bench. Like, I want... I want Shojin. Shojin. Rabadons. On Vex, ideally. Shojin, Rabadons. Are we still uncontested, by the way? Please, please tell me I'm uncontested. Nice, no one's Twin Terror. Let's go, guys. Huge. We can have a really good game. We are very broke, though, right? Level 6, very broke. So it's good that we found the Twitch, man. So easily. Spatula does nothing for us. That's really bad for us, because uh, the enemies are going to get much stronger. The enemies are going to get much stronger, and I'm not. Okay, I get the Infinity Edge. Okay, so the Twitch is super strong now. Ah, the enemies are gonna get emblems, and emblem does nothing for me, so it's not really good. Because you don't want more than two punk. It's way better with four executioner. And, yeah. This is already solved. This team is already solved. Like, everyone plays it like this. If I had a punk twitch, then six punk. Like, and the thing is, I tried six punk once. It was actually pretty bad. I mean, don't I just buy this for a couple turns? To not lose these fights. I think so, right? I need armor pen as well at some point, so I don't really want to burn this even shroud. Do I just go Archangel? I feel like I just have to go Archangel, right? Like, I can't be that greedy with my items. I need even Shroud, I need a better tank item than Gargoyles. This guy already has 3-star Seraphine. Am I still gonna beat him? I don't think so. Nah, I don't think so, that's so unlucky that we fight him here. Ah, uh, unfortunate, man. He's level 5 with 3-star Seraphine. Ah, uh, not much I can do. Ah, uh, not much I can do, man. It's actually a huge problem, right? Sell this if I win. I'm, I'm actually really screwed now. We're losing the win streak, like I'm so broke now. I'm actually so freaking broke. I need to roll on six to get. The thing is, this is basically Tactician's Crown, so this is really good. Tactician's Crown with also a better, like a really strong Twitch. Like it's actually really good. But better, like yeah, it's Tactician's Crown, but it's also a three-star Twitch later. Like it's stronger than a. The only problem is I can't put items on him. I have to sell this if I win. I think I'm winning, right? Uh, like, the thing is, I'm supposed to be the king of stage 3 with this comp, but he hits 3-star Seraphine with Prismatic Ticket so early, so we just take a loss, unfortunately. Also, we were so clumped. If we weren't clumped, we would have won. I should have scouted. I didn't see that yet. Should have scouted, man. I was thinking about my items for too long. So stupid, man. Okay, so now what do we do? <laughs> What do we do here? So we need even shroud. We need even shroud. We need a three-star pantheon for sure. We need a three-star twitch. We don't need a three-star Samira. That doesn't matter at all. Ever gonna put items on her? Nice, another rod. A bow is good. I mean, two-star Samira is two-star Samira. I'll, I'll let it happen. I can easily go Ginsu's on Twitch as well, by the way. Because what else do I do? I could go Hurricane. You think Hurricane is better? Hurricane can't even crit. I feel like Ginsu's is fine. Ginsu's is fine, right? Hurricane can't crit. I can't buy this. This is cool and all, but it doesn't actually do anything. Hurricane can't crit, I'm burning even shroud possibility. 
Yeah, and I have red buffs, so he's he has a lot of attack speed to generate more attack speed with Ginsu's. So it's not that bad of value. Like, look, he's he's shooting pretty fast. Makes him get more mana. Okay, now I have two scaling aug items, right? That scale as the fight goes on, which are really bad for this comp because it's full burst. But I, I couldn't really, I can't really change what items I get, right? <laughs> I feel like it's impenetrable bulwark. I don't think it's prismatic ticket because prismatic ticket is not actually gonna help me that much here. Ah, uh, like isn't impenetrable bulwark really good? I get so many tank items, and then I have uh, I have these two two items that degenerate. Golden egg is terrible here. Jewel lotus is not is too much. It's overkill. I need Pantheon too, bro. Okay, I mean, I'm low rolling so hard, so I think it's just do. Like, I'm roll low rolling so hard, man. It's just do. This gives me even Shroud as well. He has 3 star Yasuo. So I low rolled so hard. It's it's doomed. It's over. Like, I, I have... I have... I don't even have it. Two star Pantheon yet. Yeah, yeah, I'm low rolling so hard. It's all, all completely doomed. My Amumu just walked up like a freaking piece of garbage instead of tanking the Yasuo. Nah, it's just so doomed, man. Don't even, like, I don't even. I can just FF, I think, now. I have five Amumus, but two Pantheons only. Yeah, I just call it a day, bro. Like, just don't even play anymore. Okay. I think. Completely doomed, bro. Also, I need to do this. This is so bad. Need to go level 7 as soon as I have Twitch 3. And play double Pantheon. Or double Amumu in this case. Since I have Amumu, more Amumus. Like, it's just gonna be a 2 star Pantheon, double Amumu. It's actually fine. Like, I I'd rather have 3 star Amumu, but you know. Like, it's still so stupid, man. It's so freaking stupid, bro. Because I need the Pantheon early to get the spike, right? I need two Twitches still. I need still two Twitches. Ah, I don't know, man. Feels kind of over. Also, the Pantheon can get tankier because of Punk. He actually gets tankier than Amumu. But Amumu has AoE stun, which is really good. Which delays the fight further. But Loki, I just need to 3-star both, right? I think it's Bramble, but I might be wrong. Uh, I mean, the AP players are dying, right? The AP players are dying, Loki. The Loki, they're dying. I'm gonna roll to 20. I mean, if I hit everything, I'm back, right? Doesn't matter. If I hit everything, I'm back. It doesn't really matter what happens then. Well, like what's happening right now, how bad the RNG is right now. If I hit everything, I'm just back. <sighs> if the RNG turns around from now on, but yeah, it's not looking good. Like 3-star Amumu is going to be so powerful. But this guy just finds a edge, uh, Crowd Diver Emblem, so again, we're just going dead last. Why are- come on, man. Twitch, bro. Twitch. Hello? Okay. Oy, 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 oy. They moved up because of Edge of Night, man. Oh, frick. Now I'm high rolling all of a sudden. Okay. I am almost back. And then I just need to level, play double Pantheon or double Amumu, doesn't matter. And then honestly, nah, I have to always double the girl. It isn't this stronger right now, man? Like, it loses damage, but, bro, who cares? Like, this is way stronger. No, it's a freaking double Amumu. It's a double two-star Amumu, man. Instead of one-star Vex. Okay, but th against this guy, we can't beat him anyway. 
Like, I feel like this guy actually counters me, you know? Counters Twitch. I feel like I always lose against Disco, but I, I'm getting Dazzler here as well. That's really bad. I can't get Dazzler at the start of the fight. I'm on the wrong side. Oh, actually, I'm beating him so easily. Okay, I don't know what, what the frick. I mean, honestly, he has no combat power except for this. These are both economy augments. I mean, I'm guaranteed top... Six at uh, top five, which is pretty good. These guys are way too low HP already. Okay, I'm one off Twitch. I'm one off Twitch, one off Amumu, two off Pantheon. I think I'm back. And then Vex is gonna follow suit very quickly. Like, this guy just hits freaking Crowd Diver Emblem, and I still beat him. Doesn't that just show how broken this is? How broken Twin Terror is? I have really good augments though. Because this is so good, right? This is so good to get here. With Archangel and Dinsus. So good to get. Tank thingy. This might have a Twitch inside, so I'm gonna wait. And then this just gave me only one item, so it doesn't even matter what I get here. I'll just go for a belt. Actually, I'll go for an armor. And then I'm gonna pick this up, see what it is. It's on a Twitch. Oh, nice. I think we're back, and then we can sell this Twitch because we'll never play him. Nice, we're back. And then we can just put armor on the second Amumu, who cares? This is just one armor piece, we're not gonna get any more components, the rest of the items will be full items. And I will never play Kiana or something like that. A huge spike, we make 20 as well. Now we just roll for 3 star Pantheon and because we have Tactician's Crown basically, because of this hologram, we can do the thing where we play double Pantheon and double Amu at level 8, which is insane because level 8 is much easier to reach. Level 8 is much easier to reach than level 9 when you're playing a reroll comp, right? And then, um, yeah, and we're frontlining her a little bit because she doesn't really do anything. She's not really useful here. She's just giving us plus 4, uh, just 4 executioner, right? Against Yasuo, but I positioned uh, Amumu correctly, so I should be fine. Yasuo is doing so much damage, but he's getting CC. Nice, he died. And the second Twitch is also doing a decent amount of damage. Like the two star Twitch would do way less, right? That's actually pretty good. Nice. Okay, we're freaking back. We just need one Pantheon and to reach level 8. And we're actually completely back, right? Oh, wow, that's huge, bro. That's so big. That's so freaking huge, man. We'll actually hit 3-star Vex as well. Now we just itemize Vex and Pantheon. And it's over. I can actually win the game, I think. He's also really strong. Hologram freaking Seraphine 3. Oh, hoi, hoi, hoi. With a good augment as well. really uh, split. Like, why is my backline clumped against Rafine, man? I'm so lucky I'm not fighting him. I need to split the backline. Also, Amumu should be on the right-hand side. I already fought against the Yasuo now. Luckily, Amumu moved up. So it should be fine. I'm still getting Dazzler, though, on the Twitch. I kept him on the right-hand side because of the Yasuo player. But I already fought him, so I should just reposition. This is only 8, so I can make 30. So might as well keep them to thin out the pool of the green units. Make it ever so slightly more probable to find my last pantheon there's a punk emblem that does nothing there's an emo emblem that does nothing it's all trash we just play double pantheon on level 8 but there's a red buff there's a morello there's a jewel gauntlet there's a rabadons 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 jewel gauntlet both amazing prefer the jewel gauntlet though and we got it that's huge so much crit damage for this Vex, and now we just need a Shoujin. The best items would, by the way, be, I think, Giant Slayer and Rabadon on Vex. This is fine. Okay. Okay, and now we will split our freaking backline, because we're stupid. We 
were stupid earlier. Uh, I don't know if that is. I don't know what that is. She should be here. I don't know what that is. Like, that is to bait the Seraphine onto this side, right? Which is fine, but she should be here now. And not a gaping hole. There's a gaping hole, man. There's a gaping freaking hole on my board. And that is just not really good. Um, my second Twitch is just feeding him mana. And this guy is really strong now. Oh, he has Lucky Gloves and uh, the Radiant Glove. The Rascal's Glove, right? That's just extremely strong. I mean, I'm gonna go level 8 after the Elder Dragon and just roll down. I'm gonna roll down first until almost level 8, right? Like, until I have no money left. Okay, now I'm in the pool of the Yasuo again, so I need to position a little bit clumped again. I'm not really... I can do this, actually. I can do this and put the girl there. Okay, we're against Seraphine. I think she's gonna ult over here. She shouldn't hit him. That's good. We're baiting her away. She's actually gonna ult frontline. But as soon as they're dead, she's gonna ult the freaking uh, these idiots. No, they just move together now. Come on, Twitch, you can do it. No, the Twitch just got one shot at the end. Yeah, I mean, I positioned well though. I could have lost this much harder. This guy is just stronger than us. We need to hope that we get a second or a third. Third is good here. I feel like I laureled so hard on the on the um, Pantheon for so long. Like having a two-star Pantheon, not even a two-star, right? Was so disgusting. I I feel like I did well. The second is great. The second is great. And we're playing against a lot of comps that punish clumping. And you want to clump like this with this board, right? You want to clump like this. Because they, uh, these girls uh, have AoE, right? And you just want to stack that AoE and kill everyone. And she has a mana item, she doesn't, so they will stun at different times, which is perfect. Okay, I need 36 gold. Fought Seraphine, I shouldn't fight him again, right? Ah, uh, Repuff is trash, Morello is trash, Double Bramble is trash, but Sterox is great on him. Because he has so much health from a uh, punk, right? But uh, honestly, he doesn't, he doesn't. But it's still decent, right? Like, usually there's a, there's a certain punk threshold with four punk. I just beat 8 bit freaking. I just killed him. Holy, I'm strong. One more Vex and I'm, I'm I'm actually just insanely strong. Okay, we got a top three. The question is, can we get a top two? I feel like these guys are so strong and going level 10 and stuff. I probably can't. Oh, nice. And I just roll. I just roll. I'm not going to reach level 9 ever. So I just roll on at level 8. I use all my money to roll to get more punk value, more punk damage. Art is 2. I'm fighting him. He has true damage emblem, 6 true damage. Freaking guy. I'm just positioning like this. They're fighting each other. That's good. I need the true damage guy to win, right? I can definitely beat the ghost. Also, I have a better matchup against the true damage guy because my Vex can just CC the Yasu and we can just burst him down before he can heal. He has a Radiant Hodge and Bloodthirster, so he heals a lot. But honestly, the Seraphine guy is beating him as well. Very convincingly as well. But he's going level 10, isn't he? No, he's not. Wait, how much money does he have? Well, he's level 9, hard stock. Okay. He's level 9, hard stock. We just roll here. Until 0. There's no unit that we can buy, so it doesn't matter. 3-starring uh, the Samira doesn't, doesn't do anything. No items. Next item is on this. Or on this. Okay, I'm against this guy again, so I need to split my backline. Now it's much easier to fight these unit, these enemies. I split my front line as well, by the way. I 
split my frontline as well, so nothing, everything gets a read. Against this guy, I have a bad matchup. I have a Bramble Vest. Also, I just got a Kali. Ah, I got a Kali, man. I forgot about a Kali, bro. I'm so stupid. And he's just gonna die with the next ult. Ult again, ult again. Frick it, he ulted again. Nice. Good enough, hopefully. My, my freaking Vex is attacking the Trash Lord. Also, my freaking Vex is really attacking the Trash Lords, man. Like, bro, man, that was just mispositioning against Akali, but she's attacking the Trash Lords, bro. I had to win this fight, man. I could have won this. I could have won this fight. There's a blue buff. There's no Shojin. There's a Pentakill emblem. I can't deny it. I, I have to just take blue buff right out of these items. Actually, Adaptive Helm is better than blue buff. Adaptive Helm is actually better than blue buff on Vex. Adaptive Helm is better than Shojin as well, I think. From what I know, it has some interaction. It's good. I just know the challengers always build it. Okay, so now I'm against Yasuo again. Against Yasuo, I can definitely clump. He sold... Wait, he, he moved items. He's moving items away from Yasuo. Oh, he's going Pentakill Emblem. Holy Giga Chad, Yasuo. What the frick was that bug? I moved him and it just... Spawns this thing again. Okay, but look, look at my Vex. My Vex is gonna instantly ult Yasuo. Look, see? He's, he's gonna die instantly. So we should be fine. In the matchup. Nice. Okay, this matchup is easy. I think I'm killing him. Let's go. Huge. And now, can I beat this guy? If I position well, maybe. I have to just feed the Trash Lords to the Akali. Feed the Trash Lords, and remember the Trash Lords have a lot of health. I'm gonna split the tanks as well. Like this. Akali's in that corner. Twitch in the middle. <clears throat> okay. Okay, Akali's just getting bursted. Oh, she's dead. Nice. Oh, but my, my units are standing together. I forgot about that. Nice. Okay, we we beat him. Is he going for 3-star Ari? Is this a 2-star? It is. He has 6 Aries, but he has no money. Okay, we make 10 here, and then we roll down again to 0. I need to not have them together, right? I need to not have them clumped. Is this really it, man? I feel like this one is so exposed then. Not really, though. I think it's even the Twitch here. Well, actually, the AoE is big enough to hit. I'm not sure how smart Seraphine is, you know? How smart her thing is. I need a Dragon Claw. I didn't get a Dragon Claw, but a Warmox is pretty good on him still. I could, I should have gone Ionic Spark. Am I dumb? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> is this fine? Ionic Spark would have been so much better, man. I'm dumb as frick. I hope this is not an Ionic Spark bit. Kali just gets absolutely obliterated. Okay. I mean, this is way less close, right? Nice. Okay. Stage 7, is it enough? No. 1 HP. He needs Nico 3 as well, by the way. I didn't find Nico. Hopefully, he didn't either. Oh, please don't find Nico. Freaking just don't find it, man. Just don't freaking find it. He found it. Oh, that might make the difference, no? He 
Is he not moving Akali? Doesn't he notice? Oh, he did notice. I thought Akali just gets stunned by my Vex and then just dies. He did notice. I might lose this. I might actually lose this. I should have denied Nikos. I didn't see Nico. Also, I should have taken Ionic Spark. Honestly, this Akali is about to get, just get one shot again. Nice. Oh no, they're all standing together like freaking idiots. No, why are you just pairing together? Oh, that's just unlucky. That's not fair. That's not fair, guys. That's just not fair, man. They just move together and then they move together again. That's just unlucky. Uh, like, I feel like I could have... I could have played it better, like the Ionic Spark would have been better, but the, the amount of bad luck is kind of crazy, you know, the, the, the freaking Pantheon and now this, the, the, they just, them just moving together, that is disgusting, we'll still take it though, second place is pretty good. Subscribe and notification bell if you enjoy these TFT videos, also make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the algorithm so I can get some more views and I'll see you next time.